Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So guys, today we'll be solving another problem in our NEET Code 150 DSA question series. So today's problem is linked list cycle. An easy problem, right? But yep, it has been repeatedly asked in most of the interviews and you know certain problems which we are going to solve next. Uh, this concept will help you to solve those problems. That's why I would say that it's a very important problem to solve. Right, so first of all, we'll be going through the problem statement, the logic part, and then we'll be coding it up. So let's understand this problem statement. So given had the head of a linked list, determine if the linked list has a cycle in it, right? There's a cycle in a linked list if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. Internally, position is used to denote the index of the node that tails next pointer is connected to. Note that position is not passed as a parameter. Return true if there is a cycle in the linked list, otherwise return false. So what is saying is that you have been given a linked list, right? the head of the linked list. And if let's say there is a certain node which you can reach continuously, right? reach again continuously following the next pointer, then you can say that there is a cycle. For example, if this linked list we are having to look on, so 3, 2, 0, 4 minus 4 right so here if you will see what we are having is that so you can reach to this 2 again and again right so first 3 we went to 2 then 0 then 4 then again we are able to reach to 2 means you have seen this node before then again you you know you will be going through the complete list then again 2 will be there so there is a cycle in the linked list where the tail connects to the first node right position first so we have to return true. If on this link list you will see, so we are having two nodes, one and two, where two connects again to one. So yep, there is also a cycle in the link list where the tail connects to the zeroth node. Um, there is just one node, so yep, there is no cycle in the link list, and we have to return false. So the problem statement, I believe, that is clear for you. That okay, how you can, uh, you know, problem statement is clear that what ex exactly the expectation and what exactly the problem statement is talking about. Now comes how we'll be solving this particular problem. So there could be approaches in your mind to solve this particular problem, but directly I'll be hoping on to the best approach or the hair and tortoise algorithm that we use to solve this problem. So what does hair and tortoise algorithm is all about? So you know you must have heard that the story of hair and tortoise. They were you know in a race. So who won? Okay. So hair obviously hair obviously um, is going to run faster or going to take uh, more number of steps when compared to tortoise. So we are gonna you know follow a similar kind of funda here. So what we'll be doing is that let's let's you know let's write the code also in parallel. So we'll be having we'll be having two nodes. We'll be having two nodes, uh, fast and slow. Okay. I hope you can see my screen properly. So let's call one node as slow and initialize with head and another node as fast initialize with head. Now what we have to do is that we have to continue. We have to continue in this while fast not equal to null and fast dot next is not equal to null okay now uh, see when we can see we are having a cycle so what we will do we will have these two um, pointers you can say slow and fast so slow is the name itself indicates so what we will do we will make our slow pointer to hope one node means what do i exactly mean by this that's slow we will update as slow dot next and fast we will update as fast dot next dot next so for example if this link is we are talking about so slow first slow and fast first of all they both will be pointing to three then slow will be moving to two and fast is taking two steps we are doing dot next dot next right so when slow is on two fast is on zero then when slow is on zero Fast is on what? It will be updated as fast dot next dot next. So fast will be on 
टू राइट लेट मी लेट मी राइट हेयर सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटर थ्री टू जीरो माइनस फोर सो फर्स्ट स्लो एंड फास्ट बोथ आर ऑन थ्री एंड थ्री देन देन स्लो एंड फास्ट आर गोइंग टू बी सो स्लो वुड बी ऑन स्लो विल बी अपडेटेड एज स्लो डॉट नेक्स्ट सो स्लो वुड बी ऑन टू एंड फास्ट वुड बी ऑन फास्ट डॉट नेक्स्ट डॉट नेक्स्ट दैट इज नथिंग बट जीरो देन अगेन वील बी हैविंग स्लो ऑन जीरो and fast would be on fast dot next dot next because here is a cycle right so it would be on it would be on two then again we'll be updating slow so this time slow would be on minus the four and fast would be on fast dot next dot next which is nothing but minus the four so this time if you will see if you will see that both slow and fast are on same node even though they were not moving from the same speed so even though they were not moving from the same speed they are on the same node this is a possibility only when there is a cycle there is no cycle they can never meet right if there is no cycle they can never meet because one is taking one step at a time and another one is taking two steps at a time right so we can simply put put that condition here that if slow is equal equal to that of fast return true it means what that there is a cycle right it means what that there is a cycle and if this condition never became true then at the end we will be returning false right if there is a no cycle for example if let's say there is just this one node is there let's say there is no cycle we are having one and then two so initially both slow and fast would be on one then let's take okay then the slow would be on next node that is 2 and fast would be updated as fast dot next dot next which is nothing but null here no node is there right so next time when we will try get into the loop this condition will become this condition right this condition is not going to be true because this time fast is null okay or let's say even if even if there was a node let's say 3 was there so in that case fast dot next this time is going to be null right so again this while loop condition is not going to be true and false would be returned if there is no loop right so yeah that is the complete logic and the code for solving this particular problem let's run this right uh we are getting some compile time error oh okay all this we have kept right so let's remove it submit okay right so i hope you were able to understand the problem statement the logic part and the code it was an easy problem but further we are going to uh, solve certain problems for example this one so i believe that you need some sort of you know idea and how how basically we determine the cycle or basically how we find out the first note from where the cycle has been started so all these concepts is required for solving this particular problem so this problem was a must a standard problem to do thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye